the new channel. the new channel hashtag TNC now the views opinions and insights expressed in the following shows are those of the host producers guests and viewers they do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel viewer discretion is advised hello and welcome to the new channel our passion transforms a community that sees all things new i am carla davila and i'm streaming from tagaytay city and i'm kathy solis davila streaming live from tagaytay city good morning and welcome to breakfast with the king on tnc Good morning, everyone, and we are excited at once again for another episode of Breakfast with the King. And um, this morning, uh, we will discuss with the topic, how what the Bible says about conflicts. Carlo, kasi di pa parang our God is a God of, um, of love. So and peace. Parang ang, and peace. So ang conflict, parang it's, parang dulo, ano yun, it's, it's um, Hindi naman anti, hindi ka antichrist. Yung nasa, yung nasa uto ko, antichrist. It's not in the nature of love and peace, right? Pero ang conflict, ano ba ang sinasabi ng Bible? Um, are we sinning every day because parang in our heads, may kaaway tayo, may, you know, you know, we have negativities. We'll delve deeper into that later. And our topic, mm. Carlo, tinignan natin what social media um, says about conflict. So, tingnan natin direct. Can you flash these um, three quotes about conflict? Carlo, can you read the first one? Conflict is, in, is good in a negotiation process. It's the clash of two ideas, which then, all being well, produces a third idea. Ba? May, may kinaganda rin pala ang conflict. Conflict is uh, good... Uh, uh, next slide, please. Conflict cannot survive without your participation. Tama rin. How can <laughs> there be a fight when there are no fighters? <laughs> Pero yun sa unang sinabi mo, maganda yun ha? Yung uh, may third opinion. So sometimes it it brings out the best ideas. Diba, no? And then lastly, 
Quote number three is 10% of conflict is due to difference in opinion and 90% is due to delivery and tone of voice. Ah. Yeah. So, alam mo, Kati, dito sa mga pinakita, no, I think yung first slide, no, yung sinabing possible na productive ang conflict because uh, if you have uh, conflicting ideas, the two of you, no, a third idea will come forth. Uh, I guess it would be in the manner that you handle the conflict. If you are had, if you are handling it in a productive way, then uh, possibly a productive outcome can uh, come about, no? Like uh, you, meron kayo madiscover na bagong innovative idea, no? Um, pero I think, no? Um, so, oh, siguro ganon nga. We we take a look at this, na. Kasi ang conflict is very common. Uh, in a sense, so when you think about it, uh, we are here uh, uh, on this earth, no? and there are about, uh, tama ba ito, Kato? 8 billion ba? Tama, no? 8 billion? Yun din oh, yung parang no? na-research ko, kung tama ako. Oh, uh, eight, eight let us know kung mali ka nila. Put, put in the comments your, ano, your correction on us kung mali yung aming count. Oh, so think about this. Uh, in this common sense, no? uh, you're one human being on this earth and there's a total of 8 billion human beings on the planet. And mm -hmm. I think it is impossible that you'll get along with the uh, other 8 billion all the time, every day, every minute of the day. It is That's impossible. Right. So therefore... Conflict is uh, more common than that. So That's right. I guess it's just a matter of how you handle it. We mm -hmm. nakita natin dun sa examples mo kanina. There's a productive way to handle it, and pro and of course there is a negative way to handle it. Right. Um. Sinabi nga dun yung uh, ninety percent is due to their to, to your tone of voice and manner so, of delivery. See? Diba? 10 percent lang yung ano yung conflict yung of ideas no yeah yes. yung opinion that's right so it's how you carry yourself eh, that mm -hmm. this can go bad uh, really fast so, sa mga ano oh. palang uh, sa mga dialects palang Carlo mas ma for example parang ang ang Cebuano parang galit agad di ba mm -hmm. pero yung ilong ilonggo Malambing, <laughs> di ba? Yeah. Yung sa kanya, parang yung delivery niya, uh, it's affected by yung ano yung kinagawian bang salita. Pero hindi naman siya galit, di ba? So yes. the way of speaking. Ito, yung pinag-uusapan natin, ano, meron ako ditong verse. Uh, gawin natin on a biblical perspective naman. No? Connected dun sa sinabi ni Cathy, no tone of voice. no Proverbs, it says, a hot-tempered man steers up conflict. But the one who is patient comes a quarrel. Mm. Oh, see? Right. So it, it, it can be demand that you have a, a, another thing, no? Common sense, no? It, it, um, isa lang tayo, there's 8 billion people around the, uh, around the world, no? It is kind of mm. impossible that uh, uh, your, your uh, idea is uh, always uh, in agreement with the other 8 billion people's uh, ideas. So impossible yes. na ayan. So talagang meron kayo, magkakaroon talaga kayo ng different ideas, no? It's just a matter of how you handle it, eh. Kung mainitin ang ulo mo, talagang lalabas away, no? Away. That's right. Oh. That's right. And I'm um, like what you said, no? Uh, it's part of what you said. Kasi kapag to, kasi ako yung rest back, eh. Kita mo naman ako, napaka-muscular person ko. Katakot na ako pala. <laughs> I know. Oh. So oh, even even the Bible yung ka conflict ka. <laughs> Even Sorry the Bible the, um talks about conflict no Um biblical families experience drama okay maraming mga disagreements The story of Esau and Jacob in in what in one such story from Genesis 25 from the time that they were in their womb in the mom's womb pala, in the mom mother's womb, the two were already competing in a power struggle from stealing his... Later on, as, as they were born and uh, grew up, um, there was a stealing of birthright to deceiving their father into giving um, uh, Jacob the blessing. 
So, mula nung nasa tummy, nasa womb siya ng mother nila, Carlo, may struggle na nga doon eh, di ba? Kung sino yung unang lalabas. So, you see, the Bible talks about it because it just wants to tell us that it is it is um natural it is a mm. it is a given that we will have conflicts no pero yeah. ano ba yung tamang way of handling it so today we okay. have a very special guest but um before we introduce her um we here on breakfast with the king uh we talk about you know and introduce a simple way a non intimidating way of reading the bible and um and talking to God and communing with Him, and that is through the soap method. And Carla will talk about that. Okay, quick, quick, lang to Kathy, no? Para we can go ahead, uh, may introduce natin yung guests natin, and we can talk about this very interesting topic. So get there. Kindly show you the slides natin ng soap, please. Ah, uh, no, the other one, the SOAP, but it's okay. Ano okay. kwento mo na lang. Uh, it's not here. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Okay. Um, sige, direct. Kindly take away those slides. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So AP. So okay. I'll discuss. Uh, I'll discuss it, Katina. Uh, well, when you do your soap, no, yung soap kasi are actually. Uh, how do you call this again? Ako acronym para tayo. Acrostics. Acrostics. Yes. Acrostics, ibig sabihin yung mga first letters, they stand for a word, no? And then S stands for scripture. So, that's step one. So, you open your Bible, and then you choose a scripture. Kung binabasa mo yan chronologically, uh, syempre, uh, kung anong kasunod na scripture, dun ka. Now, if in case naman na parang, uh, let's say the Lord is leading you, or let's say something is very relevant to your current situation, let's say, I... You feel there's conflict, yeah, it's a family, ganyan, or work, and then you want to search a uh, verse regarding conflict. Uh, lalo ngayon, internet is there. It's so fast mm-hmm. to search uh, a verse regarding that uh, uh, that uh, topic, no? And uh, yun pili in mo na, no? So you choose a scripture first, and then after you do an observation. Now, what does observation mean? You simply do with your best efforts interpret the scripture uh, that you read. You can with research the Holy with the Holy, with the Holy Spirit. You guidance. can research online, pero pinaka-importante talaga is you uh, try to interpret it uh, by yourself. Importante yun. Kasi doon mo makikita yung understanding mo. Kasi you're, you're trying to ano eh, absorb it. Eh. So, mas maganda yung learning. So yes. Uh, Carlo, ano, I yeah, have to ano, I have to um add this up. You have to mm. invite the Holy Spirit's presence, hindi yung ano lang yung um utak lang natin to interpret kasi baka magkamali tayo sa interpretation. So it is a communing with the Lord and so we need to invite the Holy Spirit to guide us and to um give us the the correct revelation. Ah, thank you for that, Kathy. And then after noon, uh, you do letter A. Diba? So, S-O-A. A na tayo. Uh, application yun. Ang application naman is uh, you think uh, after na, after you've learned no, from the scripture that you chose, may insight ka na, you think on objective, no, uh, very tangible ways on how you could uh, apply what you've learned in your life. Kasi what use is it when we always learn from the Bible, no, tapos and we don't apply it naman, parang stock knowledge lang siya sa isip natin. So, wala. Uh, wala. Actually, the devil, he knows a lot about the Bible, so it makes you no know different. Ang importante talaga is you apply it in your life. And when you apply it, uh, that's when you will experience, you know that the Bible, that's a very thick book. Full of promises. That's how I see it. No? Puro pangako ng Diyos yan. And alam mo naman, pag nangako ang Diyos, hindi yan napapako. And uh, we can only receive those promises if we apply uh, what's in there. So, kaya napaka-importante. And then, P, last, you end it with a prayer. 
That's right. So um, we asked our guest to um, work on her Bible meditation or Bible reflection based on the SOAP method. And um, I will introduce her right now. Um, she studied in De La Salle College of St. Benilde with a bachelor's degree in multimedia arts. This is also where she came to know the Lord. In 2016, she was invited to Elevate Taft, where she was connected to a discipleship group and has been actively serving in a campus ministry dur during her college years. In 2019, she applied as a full-time campus missionary straight from graduation, Carlo. No, yung iba, oh. bulakbol, and uh, kung baga kung ano -ano pinagagawa, rest muna, and uh, nakadepende sa magulang. Yung ganun ba? Kung ano anong nagpa-party. <laughs> Pero siya, she went from um, graduation to joining full-time um, the, the campus missionary um, work. She Today, she has been serving as a campus missionary in Elevate Taft for almost three years. And she's currently discipling nine girls, mainly in the campuses she's reaching out to. De La Salle College of St. Benilde and Arellano University Mabini Campus. Ladies and gentlemen, sis, Amy, hello. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, Kia Carlo. Good morning. Thank you for being Sabi here with us. Sabi niyot ka pala, naho, dyan ako nag-graduate ng college. Ah. Yeah. Oh, ah. alam mo, ako overachiever ako yung four years. <laughs> Dinagdagan ko pa, ginawa kong five years. <laughs> Oh, my. nice to have another alumni here as well. Hello, for having me here. Yes, thank okay, you for being here with us. How are you feeling this morning, Amy? Sis? Uh, I think uh, it's nerve-wracking as well to be here. <laughs> okay. to go for the first time. Um, but uh, my heart is so full. Yesterday, we had... Uh, Praise and worship night in, uh, in our youth service in Elevate Taft. Uh, it's the first time we, we had it in in a long time. So we had it just some Makdo, Makdo Vito Cruz. And so many people came. Uh, and wow. it's so nice that you would hear all of the students singing in, in one voice, praising the Lord. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's, that's such a... That's such a, a, a achievement, no? Nakakatuwa yan. So, estimate mo how many, how many students came there. Nakakatuwa yan, eh? Praise the Lord. So, I think uh, we're about um, 50 to probably 60. Oh, uh, that's a lot. So, wow. so sa Makdo, may ganong venue, no? Pa, I guess, pag may mga birthday parties, may events area sila? Yes, Ganun but... In... in uh, before during before the pandemic we actually had our own venue but we really had to let it go uh during the pandemic so now uh, our youth service are held mostly in Makdok Vito Cruz uh before we tried also in Jollibee Vito Cruz but now we're currently sa Makdo we we won't have services for the next two weeks however because of the holiday and um because of the term break but i think we'll be back by first week of may Kita mo ka ati ang daming attendees na students from Bilil. Kami mga taga-Bilil, taga mababae talaga. <laughs> yung brother, si Robby, yung brother ko, ano, is also a graduate of Bilil. Um, ano naman siya? Uh, HRM, Human Resources Management. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, uh, sige. We're so excited, Amy. Uh, you're here. Uh, thank you so much for uh, accepting our invitation. And it's a privilege for us not to hear your devotion. Um, sige, we'll take a look at your scripture. I'll read it. And then after, uh, share mo sa amin yung devotion mo. Sige, Derek, uh, pwede mo pakita yung uh, scripture niya? What the Bible so says about muna. handling uh -oh. conflict. Yeah. Uh, next slide, please. Oh, and go back. Please. Scripture. There, scripture. Yeah. There. I'll read this lang, uh, Colossians 3, 12 to 14. Put on then a God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one, ano one another, and if one 
has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Ang ganda niya, na? Uh, we're so blessed by the verse that you've chosen. Ang ganda. Uh, sige, go ahead, Amy. Direct, kindly flash the uh, slide, the observation, please. Yeah, and so... Praise God. Uh, uh, really prayed about it. What verse to share uh, this morning? And uh, I think uh, some of you might actually be familiar with Matthew five twenty three to twenty four. Um, so in that verse, it's about um, before you, if you're presenting a sacrifice and you suddenly remember that someone has something against you, you leave your sacrifice there and you de- go and be reconciled. To the person basically you initiate the reconciliation however that would be next to impossible to do it, it would really be difficult if tayo we're filled with selfishness uh, we're filled with pride and unforgiveness even if you go and you be you try to be reconciled with a person uh might not work um, because your heart is not right so I chose this first because um, we find out here how we can respond in a way that really pleases God, that honors God. So I just want to read again uh, the scripture. Uh, sorry, can you please there? Uh, Colossians 3, 12 to 14. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bearing with one another, and if anyone, if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive, and above all the of all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. So with this with this passage, it's actually uh, it's actually written by by Paul. So Colossians, the book of Colossians, is a letter written by Paul in prison, actually, to the believers in Colossae. So he wrote that to warn them about certain uh, teachings and also to encourage them. So in this chapter, in chapter 3, he encourages them to fight against sin and to pursue holiness. So here... (coughs) This is this is the part where you see that na he's encouraging them to pursue holiness. So let's go to the observation. Let's look at it. Let's look at the verse closely. Right. Next slide there. There. So it says there, um, the first the first words were put on. Put on is actually it's a verb. It's a command which means it's a conscious choice of action. So it's a choice to put it on. Just like when we wear clothes, uh, we consciously do it. We don't do it when we're asleep. <laughs> we do it when we're awake. We do it consciously. Put on. And after that, it says, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved. That indicates identity. So you do it, you do the you do the action you put on because of who you are of your identity as god's chosen one holy and beloved that's very specific that we are set apart we're holy and that we are beloved it's so nice that this was included in the verse that tayo we need to remember that we are loved by god and we can be secure in his love and then to follow it says, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. So these are these are the characteristics that we are to put on, that we are to to show. Uh, and it's nice because when you look at each one closely, you'd find out that each characteristic actually points to selflessness. You can. You can't be compassionate, you can't be kind, you can't be humble if you're selfish. And and here, 
again, it characterizes selflessness because it thinks of the other person more than yourself. If we if we go to Philippians 2, verse 3, it says there, in humility, count others more significant than yourselves. So it's you're choosing to put the other person before yourself. And the next part, now this one is really nice. So it says there, if anyone has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you. So it doesn't just say, it doesn't just say in verse to forgive the person. It says to forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. And how has the Lord forgiven us? Did, did the Lord say, okay, after 10 times, ah, kota na, I won't forgive you na. After, after you've sinned uh, or even sinned 20 times, I won't forgive you na. That's the limit. Never, God never said that. In fact, you'd find in the Bible that God's forgiveness is actually immeasurable. And that's the kind of forgiveness that we are. That's the kind of forgiveness that we are to give the people who have hurt us. We're in conflict with. You forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. Forgive in the same capacity that God forgave you. In the same unlimited, immeasurable forgiveness. Not in our limited capacity to forgive. Because sometimes there are there are hurts or uh, there are things that we can forgive easily. But there are some things that we find hard to forgive. So in that, we test yung, yung forgiveness, we test yung patience. Natin. And if we look onto our own capacity to forgive, you really won't be able to forgive the other person. Because your standard is the human standard of forgiveness. But if you look to God's standard of forgiveness, then you'd be able to forgive the person. And then Amy, yeah. if I sorry uh, for ano uh, for butting in. Um ganda nito nung pag halimbawa galit na galit ka, for example, um at work or in school, um merong alam yon minsan merong may tao lang na ibang timpla sa yo. <laughs> Tapos Yung, yung galit na galit ka, yung, yung reminder ng Bible, kilala niya talaga tayo, no? yung tendencies ng tao na ah, I'll, I'll see what I feel. Ganito, ganito ho, galit ako, yung raw emotions mo, yung raw thoughts mo, you want to express. Pero tinan mo yung, yung reminder ng Bible, direct paki-flash again, ang ganda nung, nung sinabi ni um, Amy sa kanyang observation. No? Number one, in kinokons... Kumbaga, uh, God is giving you the confidence na you are my chosen one, you're holy and you're beloved. And then, ang ganda nito sa i-memorize, eh, no? yung ch- compassionate hearts, that's what you should put on. Compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Yan, maganda siya sa may ano may, kung saan ka bumib nagbibihes. <laughs> you know, Parang you know, puro characteristics ko yan, Kati, eh. Yun na nga, gusto ko nga ilagay dito sa closet natin para ma-remember mo eh. Kasi parang nakakayang. <laughs> Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> Yun, so ba sobrang ganda kasi these are the characteristics of the Lord. And parang ikaw, pag naalala mo na you have been forgiven, parang walang grudge na matitira. <laughs> walang sama ng loob na matitira. Parang, okay, yes, Lord. <laughs> pag naalala mo yon Sorry, yun. Thank you, Amy. This is really, this is really beautiful. Yes. Praise God. Thank you. Uh, well, it's really nice that uh, you do it because of who you are, no? You put on this, this compassionate heart, uh, kindness, humility, meekness, patience, because that's who you are. You are holy. You're, cho- you're a chosen one and you're holy and you are beloved. And speaking of love, the next one, it says, it's to put on. This is in the last verse, in verse 14. Above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. So love, it, it put on love, it's a command. Again, it's a conscious choice. Uh, it's a conscious choice to 
love people. And it says that love binds everything together. It's nice because love really completes the picture. It it ties everything together. Basically, another another synonym of of to tie together is to secure together. So love secures all of this together. Yeah. And ano ah, Patricia, it's not being fake ah. Kasi parang some, you know, um, sa mundo natin ngayon pag sinabing, you put, it's just to put on. You know? Hindi siya fake. Kasi ito is, ganda nung pagkakasabi ni Amy na it's really your nature. You are God's chosen one. You're holy and beloved. You're just being you. Hindi siya fake. I have, I have a question, yeah. Patty. What if, for example, you're fixing a conflict with another person? Pero mm-hmm. ayaw makipag-ayos nun. Galit pa rin siya sa'yo. What do you do? Mm-hmm. Ah, mamaya tatanong natin kay Amy. Kasi mukhang nasa ano niya yan eh. Sa reflection niya. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I can I can answer the question uh, now. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Again, again here, if you, if you look at, if you go back to the scripture, uh, you put on, you consciously do this. And it doesn't say anything about the other person. It's not a condition. Na, um, what if the person is not willing to resolve the conflict or not willing to to even talk? Then um, it doesn't say anything about the other person. It it shows you that you need to look to yourself. You look at yourself. Are you willing to put on compassion, hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, patience? Mm-hmm. Because of who you are, that you are a chosen one, and you're holy and beloved. Basically, you don't do it because the other person. You 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 show these things. You forgive the person. You love the person, not because uh, they deserve it, or not because uh, ah, mababaw mababaw lang naman yung ginawa nila ganyan. It, It's not because of that. You do it because that's what you're called to do that's our new nature so if you are in christ if you know jesus if you have a relationship with him this is the most natural thing to do because that's who you are you after coming in coming to christ um before that's not your nature but now that's who you are you're holy and beloved so you do it regardless of the other person's Uh, response or how the other person sees you uh, as in regardless of the other person you look to yourself look at your heart as long as you are willing you're willing to reconcile you're doing everything you humble yourself that's what's important so if the other person is willing praise god uh, you can also pray for the for the heart of the other person that the person would open their heart to be willing to reconcile with you But for the time being, if they're not willing, then you can keep praying and you can keep looking at your heart na your thoughts, your emotions would not control you. Because sometimes uh, it's easy to spiral into over overthinking that ah, the person really doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Uh, the person hates me. I will never be able to reconcile. Well, those, those thoughts uh, would all the more... Uh, feed your your doubts and uh, your anxiety that this is never going to work. Uh, but, you know, every relationship is actually in God's hands already. God is sovereign and He's a God of reconciliation. If So if that's the will of God, then nothing can stop that. So just look at yourselves. Amen. Very nice. Amen. Ang ganda niya na, no? Very uh, nicely mo, put. Yeah. Let me mention this lang no. Uh, in cohesion dun sa sinabi mo Kati, sinabi mo Amy. I I wanna tell the audience no. Sometimes kasi, 'di ba, ang conflict, the way you look at it. Parang if I'm a good Christian, ganyan, I'm a godly person. Uh, number one, if I have conflict, I'm experiencing conflict no. Uh, you may feel guilty na parang Shucks, mm-hmm. uh, am, I, am I really a good Christian? Mm-hmm. Bakit ako in conflict with another person? Eh, eh, eh that's not godly para mga ganyan na thinking, no? Uh, pero when you think about it, no, I just wanna uh, uh, say this, no? Based on sa mga, sa observation ni Amy, no? 
Uh, di ba may nakasulat doon, you should forgive because God forgives us. Uh, therefore, um, lumalabas, no, si God ang example natin uh, in everything, no, including handling conflict. And the uh, question, us being imperfect and God being perfect, is God free of conflict? Take it that He's perfect? The answer is no. Maraming tao galit sa Diyos. Yes. But the thing is, doon sa observation ni Amy, no, sabi doon, you should be in harmony with the other person. Tapos yan, sabi niya rin, it doesn't mention kung anong response ng other person. Whatever it is yung response niya, doesn't matter. You just love him all the same. And that's how God deals with conflict. Tayo na mahal natin siya at yung mga tao na galit sa kanya, God loves us all all the same. So dapat ganun din ang attitude natin sa ating mga uh, kapatid. Shucks, pag, tinat- pag nagsasalita akong Tagalog, uh, Kathy, parang uh, mas, <laughs> ano, uh, mas, uh, mas <laughs> matindi yung dati ko. Uh. <laughs> mas marugdob. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Parang mas malalim, mas malalim ba ko na person. Eh, no? Maraming tao actually nag-argue kay God, eh, even in the Bible, in the past. Yeah. Um, Abraham, Moses, Elijah, and others petitioned for divine intervention in their lives. Nakikipag-negotiate sila kay God. So yeah, even up to now, ganon. And basta, I really like yung sinabi ni, ano, ni Amy, no? Na, um, like, I, ako, I, I'm going, di may ganon ding situation na um, parang Lord pa din one sided pa lang basta ako clear naman yung thoughts ko clear naman yung yeah. understanding of the situation pero parang hindi pa you know hindi pa nagre-reply yung tao yung ganyan so paano yun parang like Carla reminded me na Kathy you did your part um as long as your heart is 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 um clear it, it, it's pure um on the situation the Lord will, ano, will fix that. Uh, ayusin niya yung heart nung tao na yun. And um, yeah, you also pray that... At saka as, uh, as, as long as you show love, importante yun. Yeah, Kasi that's alam right. Kasi alam there's a saying, ito hindi to Bible uh, taken, no? pero uh, there's a saying na ang, pag ang bato, katigas-tigas na bato, uh, patakan ng patakan ng tubig, tuloy-tuloy, eventually, bibiyak ang bato, ha? Mm-hmm. Alam niya ba yan? So, and that's, ano ha, that's a fact. So, ibig yeah. sabihin, kung may tao dyan, matigas, uh, sige, parang okay lang sa'yo, basta, it doesn't matter how you respond, no? basta ako, ikaw, you're not in harmony with me, pero ako, I'm in harmony with you. Mm-hmm. So, yes. in essence, I don't have any conflict with you. You may have conflict with me, pero ako, I'll show you love. I'm not right. affected by your actuations or anything or how you think of me or what you're saying around of me. I'm not affected. So, teka, ba't ako tumitingin sa kaliwa? Wala na mga kaisa. Okay, wait. Okay. Hindi ko ba Okay. Nandito kami sa harap eh. Parang may kausap ako. Wala na ba na makatabi. Okay. So, ano yun? The Lord looks at the heart, bottom line. Yes. Kung alam niyang maayos ka, you know, like, you did your part. Basta ikaw, it's about you. Sabi nga ni Sis Amy eh, yung utos ng Panginoon sa'yo eh. So kahit hindi pa siya okay, the Lord will ano, will work on that for you. Yeah, eventually, papakita ka ng love non-stop. Uh, ba- ma- baka bumigay din yan. Tapos yan, maayos yung conflict, di ba? But so, ang importante dito, are you doing your part? Yan. Yes. Uh, hindi na masyado importante kung if he's doing his part kasi ako, Amy, tumanda na ako. I'm uh, uh, 27 now. Um, <laughs> then 45. 45. Uh, alam mo, isang, isang thing no, na uh, as I matured, I realized uh, iba-iba pala ang mga tao. Ako kasi before, parang, parang ganito eh. May innate standard ako sa sarili ko. Tapos yan, Pag yung ibang tao na yun, hindi within my standard, I start to question, bakit sila ganun? ganun may ganun ako. Ngayon na wala na yung ganun ko. Parang tanggap ko na na magkakaiba ang tao eh. So, 
when it comes to this no conflict, which is a very sensitive thing, uh, the way they handle it is different for everyone. Kaya ako yung response nila kung po problema ko yan, sari sari ang response nila. Baka masiraan lang ako ng bait. So ako nakapokus na lang ako on what I'll do towards them, on how I respond towards them. And right. I should be godly always. Yes, that's right. Um, sis, on your observation, you want to add anything more? Because we will just take a short break after your observation. Yes. So I think I also really appreciate your insights. I was I'm so blessed to to hear your insights as well. Uh, I think just to um, conclude everything, uh, as we consciously we are to consciously choose to show compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. And it's, again, it's not because um, of the other person. It's regardless of what the other person does. It's our calling. It's who we are, that we are holy and beloved. And we do it because um, that's who God says we are. If you truly believe that what God says to you, that you are a chosen one that you're holy and you're beloved then this is how you'd you'd act this is how you uh, bring yourself this is how you uh this is what you show people and like like what that what ate kathy said a while ago that it's not fake you're not faking it it's not just a front but inside out uh that's who that's really who you are because inside you've been transformed by the love of christ yeah. Amen. Amen. And well that, said. On that note, nat, natapos tayo sa scripture ni Amy and then the observation. May dalawa pa, no? The application the and application. then the prayer. But before that, it, we'll, yeah. oh, don't yeah, go may, yet. Uh, may sasabihin lang si uh, Kathy, no? And uh, you know, Amy, um, uh, nakita ko si Kathy noon nagsasalita ako kanina. I was sharing about conflict, no? Uh, isip-isip niya na ako, ang bait-bait pala ng asawa ko. Nakita ko eh. Ngayon ang iniisip. <laughs> Lalo na nung nakatingin ka sa gilid, no? na wala kang kinakausap. Okay, on uh, that note, nata- we will take ka a, eh. sh- ka. a short break. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back. Interesting yung ano, topic natin. Plus, may mga babasahin pa tayo mga comments from our viewers. Thank you so much. We will be back here on Breakfast with the King on TNC. Okay.
Sign up for a year and pay less than 71 pesos per month. Visit tmt.ph slash digital to get your free 30 days of the Manila Times Digital Edition. back here on Breakfast with the King on TNC. Um, but before we continue with our discussion, we have um, an Elevate campus missionary with us. Um, she is, we are so blessed with her sharing. So please stick around with us. Um, the new channel is an online alternative new media platform of online shows for people on the go. Please share it to your friends and family and watch all our shows as seen on screen. TNC aims to transform the lives of our viewers through engaging authentic and original content. 
Our channel is a responsible global 24-7 platform that showcases Filipino talent, global influencers, cultural intelligence, and ingenuity. Imagine having your own show, your own playlist, your own content, but we make it easier for you. Watch Breakfast with the King. You are here with Kathy and Carla every Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. You can watch us live or on replay via Facebook or YouTube. You can follow us on Instagram and listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcast. Just search hashtag TNC now. For sponsorships or other queries, please email now at the new channel.com or send us a direct message. Enjoy these life changing shows because we made them just for you. So we are back. Um, we'd like to thank Barley Max Pala. Ayan, we just we just got our um, supply of Barley Max. And uh, we have yet to try them. No, and yeah, ano lang yung green screen natin. And um, yung kanina pinakita yung uh, zinc um, with vitamin C. Thank you so much. Yeah, kat ganyan yung smile ni Carlo, no? Kasi happy siya and excited. Ay, nako, this is such a treat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we call uh, oh. Marley Max tapos eh, meron pa vitamin C uh, and uh, up to zinc. Nako. Uh, Ang ganda nito sa katawan. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. And now we call back in Amy Billyote um, with her um, with her uh, devotion or Bible reflection on what the Bible says about conflicts. And um, we'd like to flash muna some comments um, from our viewers, from our live viewers. Kasi mapapanood din tayo on replay, no? Pero ngayon, mga ito mga sumama sa atin. You can read it, sis. <laughs> Go, Mimi. Uh, actually, Carl is my fellow campus missionary in Alameda. <laughs> Thanks for being here with us. Yan, man. So, hi, man. Also the same. She's also my fellow teammate. Hello. Ooh, heart and fire emoji from Ate Michelle. Same, she's also my teammate in Metro S. Lumit Metro S. Yes, thank you for being with us. And uh, madaming fancy, you know, si Amy, no? Um, <laughs> ngayon, we will proceed with her application. We're excited to hear that part, sis. Yeah. So, this is, this, actually, uh, scripture alone, reading God's word alone and studying it, it really doesn't end there because it's an application. It's the application that really brings transformation to your life. So without this, this is the most, this is one of the most important part. If, if walang application, there's really no, no change, diba? You just read it and, and that's it. Pero this is where, uh, you, you really apply it. Uh, na, parang it's where the rubber meets the road. Yeah. So, uh, first is, uh, again, you we need to remind ourselves of our identity as chosen people, holy and beloved, because it's how you view yourself, it's your way of thinking. Uh, that's what would shape how you feel and your actions. So, your, your thoughts, it's connected to your emotions and to your actions. So if sa thoughts pa lang, hindi na tama yung view mo of who you are, it really would show in your, in, in your emotions, in your actions, it really would show. So first and foremost, we have to be reminded of who we are, who God says we are. We're chosen, holy, and beloved and what better way to do that uh than to spend time with the lord in prayer and reading his word then the next one is we are to be we need to be selfless we need to count the other person more significant more important than ourselves we need to willingly show compassion kindness humility meekness and patience so again this is not something you can't do if you want to be if you are selfish or maybe you're not aware of it, na you're already being selfish. Uh, but we need to look at our hearts and we need to, we really need to ask God to evaluate our hearts. If our hearts are pure, just like what Ate Kathy mentioned a while ago, that uh, it's important that your heart is pure. 
So here, this is where you check your heart and then uh, so that you'd know if you're being selfish. Uh, maybe that's the reason why you're having a hard time to show compassion, kindness, and these things. Because in your heart, your heart's not right. Your heart's not pure. So be selfless. And next is forgive. So this is really important. Forgive in the same capacity as God forgave you. And, well, let them know that you've forgiven them. So if there's someone that you're in conflict with, uh, let's say, nag-usap kayo, uh, and then um, the person asks you for forgiveness. Well, you let them know that you've forgiven them. Na, yes, I'm forgiven you. Or, if it's vice versa, if you're the person who needs to ask for forgiveness, if you're the one in need of forgiveness, you ask for it. You willingly ask for it. Uh, this is something I've actually learned from the Motivate series in, in CCF, that um, when you want to uh, apologize to someone, you acknowledge the wrong thing that you've done. And after that, you literally, you ask them, will you forgive me? So it's we need to verbalize these things. We it's not something na baka na patawad niya nat niya na ako ganyan. It's it's not like that. We have to really verbalize it and to make it clear uh, that we want to ask for forgiveness. And by God's grace, if the Lord works in the heart of the other person, the Lord, the, the other person will forgive us. Uh, and then the next one, last one is you look for opportunities. To show love and care for the person. So it doesn't just end with, okay, resolve the conflict natin. And that's it. You didn't do anything afterwards. Since you know that there was a conflict, that uh, something happened between the two of you, you, it, in a way, you try to make up for it. Uh, you try to win back the affection of the person. Because even if you resolve the conflict, uh, still, Something came between the two of you that uh, affected your relationship. So, mumawi ka dun sa person. You look for an opportunity to show love and care. You can ask the person, how can I pray for you? Or you can uh, show it in tangible actions. Let's say the person likes pizza or they like, uh, they love sweets, they love cake. Uh, you can go and treat them with what they like. So, it's Actually, that- I like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a tangible way of showing them that you truly love them. Because this is uh, one of the things I've learned from my uh, time in in Elevate, in Elevate Taf, is the person don't doesn't care about what you know until they know how much you care. So, it's really important they know that you care about them, that you love them. Because sometimes it's really the enemy would get between the would get between the two of you. The enemy would do his best uh, to work on the to tell lies to the other person. Nah, uh, you know, uh, ito, for example, me, uh, Mimi doesn't care about you. She doesn't think about you. It could be like that. So you need to do your best. Uh, so, maging clear dun sa other person that you really love them and you care for them. You want to be reconciled with them. Galing. Alam mo, actually, nice. uh, Amy, no? uh, yung sinabi mo na pinakalas, no? uh, when it comes to ano rin, uh, evangelism, no? uh, it's not, I mean, a lot of people, they get, they accept uh, Jesus Christ no, as their Lord and Savior. Uh, well, uh, mainly not because of all the bible knowledge that you have that you're sharing with them but it's a, a large portion of it i think no, is when you demonstrate god's love to them parang na ano sila eh, no na move sila tapos yan, parang sila mismo magkatanong eh na parang oh patambay ng tao na to sa akin parang mahal na mahal niya ako uh, why is she like that tapos yan, maano nila ah, because he's serving god Sino tong God na to? Ganyan. Mm-hmm. So kaya sila na ano, kaya uh, yun. Uh, nasabi yeah. ko lang naman. And then Kathy, uh, um, uh, kasi 
uh, kanina forgiveness no uh, about conflict no i forgive you no wala ka na makasalanan <laughs> pero i forgive you <laughs> <laughs> nakakatuwa si ano nakakatuwa si Amy kasi ano she has yung wisdom na beyond her years na meaning mm. she's she's young parang mm. pero marami tayong kakilala na age natin. Yeah. Ganyan pero, talaga kami they don't ni, speak that way. Eh. Ganyan talaga kami mga millennial. <laughs> it's really, ano, with, with the Lord eh, parang because um, she has um, accepted the Lord to be really her Lord. Um, then, yung mat- maturation, ano, mabilis yung process kasi it's really the Lord working through her. Nakakatuwa. And Um, we really, we really are blessed each time we hear a campus missionary um, from Elevate. Na um, who, parang you know, you studied college. Na na dapat you know you're going to, you know, uh, land a job within the course that you took. Um, parang I'm sure, marami kang iniisip na maging you know magiging profession mo in the future. But when the Lord called you for full-time ministry, you said yes, and sobrang nakakabless yon. And that uh, we'd like for people to know about, you know, how how we can help you out with your ministry, how we can support. Oh, praise God! Po. Uh, actually, that um, whatever you see in me really is the Lord's work, talaga. And again, uh, I'm also a product of the campus ministry. So my dear leader is a campus missionary, and uh, it's from her that I learned how important it is to reach out to the campuses, and this is something that we do full time. It's not something we do part time; we do it full time. So, wow. you're, and it's not just eight hours uh, a week. Uh, sometimes there are students who would message you. Um, 12 a.m. in the morning, uh, asking for counseling, uh, needing someone to be there for them. And that's what we do. Uh, so again, um, if you want to be part of what we're doing in the youth, if, if you want to um, be part of uh, what we're doing, that we're reaching out to the students, the youth in the campuses, um, it would be a privilege to partner with you. So one way that you can do that is really through prayer and through supporting us financially. So us campus missionaries really don't have our own uh, salary. We only uh, live on um, support. And uh, we won't be able to do this without people uh, supporting us. So if you'd like to be part of um, those 25 people, that are supporting me monthly, please feel free to contact me. Uh, my email and my contact number is there. Uh, and mm. if you give uh, with any amount uh, that the Lord impresses on your heart, uh, you can scan the QR code and then you'd be directed to the CCF um, Give page where you can follow the steps. And then afterwards, you can select, uh, you can tick uh, Elevate Campus Missionaries and there you can enter my name but please uh, if you do that please um let me know and i'd like to thank you and also pray for you as you do that uh and i it's really a privilege because uh what you're investing in it's not something it's not just here on earth that in, that investment is an eternal investment your reward is not here on earth maybe the reward at most would be seeing the lives that were changed seeing the students that were, that were reached. Um, but nice. have a reward in heaven that you're investing in. And that's why uh, we're so um, blessed to invite more and more ministry partners to partner. It's, it's a ministry partner. It's not donation because we're partners in what we're doing. Um, it, Paul Washer has this, has this quote that um, there are two missions. Uh, in ministry, and one is, one of them needs to go down the well, but the other person needs to hold the rope for them. So either way, mm-hmm. you have scars on your hand. So it's the same capacity, but there's two different tasks. 
one go down the well. That's us, campus missionaries. We are willing to go down into the well to rescue those needs to be rescued. And we need people who would hold the rope for us. And that's who our ministry partners are. Oh, very nice. That's so beautiful, Amy. Yeah? And um, while you were talking, parang proud na proud ako, parang uh, ano ko ate, uh, sister in Christ, yan. <laughs> parang yeah, and and we're so blessed by your by your um, Bible reflection today. And um, as you were speaking, um, you know, we could feel the Holy Spirit's presence in you know what you are in your words. And um, they're, they're really speaking. Ako, I, I learned a lot from you. And um, thank you so much for being here with us today. Yeah. And, um, and guys, let's support. Let's, ano pala, let's partner with Amy in, in her ministry. Kasi tayo, um, parang we're busy with our work. And, um, you know, we have our own tasks, yung pinapagawa ni Lord sa atin. Pero si Amy has been assigned by the Lord to do um, his work in the campuses and um, napaka powerful nung ganung um, nung gino, uh, assignment na binigay sa kanya and sabi niya nakakatuwa no she's willing to go down the the well um, and yeah yeah let's let's please partner with her and just review this just rewind this video um, to check out the her contact details and the QR code as well so yeah, thank you so much, um, Amy. We'd like for you to lead us in prayer based on our discussion today. Tapos um, after that, we'll uh, no, we'll just say goodbye to the audience um, and thank our donors as well. Yes, please lead us in prayer. Yes. Uh, why don't we take this time to pray, Lord God, Heavenly Father? We thank you, Lord, that it's really because of you that we are where we are right now, Lord God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for indeed you are faithful. You are good. God, you are, you abound in love, God. In your forgiveness, Lord, your mercy is immeasurable. We thank you, Lord, you've called us to be your chosen ones. And you call us holy. Lord, we are set apart. You call us beloved. Lord, you really love us, God. And because of who we are, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would be the one to help us to live our life according to our identity in you, Jesus. That we would put on compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, patience, Lord. We would bear with one another and forgive each other in the same capacity that you have forgiven us. Lord, these are things that we cannot do if us ourselves, we haven't experienced your love for us. So I pray that if there's anyone in the audience, Lord, who hasn't experienced that kind of love, that they would come to you. I pray, Lord, that they would thank you, God. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that first they would experience your love for them. And I pray, Lord, that that's the same kind of love that we would put on that secures, that ties everything together, Lord, in perfect harmony. We pray, Lord, that we would be ambassadors of you, Jesus, that when people look at us, when people look at our lives, that they would not see us, Lord, they would see you in us. We thank you this is only possible because of your work on the cross and because of the Holy Spirit that you've given us, Lord. And we surrender. We thank you, Lord, for all these things. In your mighty name, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. So, guys, kung may hindi pa kayo fino forgive, <laughs> release the forgiveness na. Kasi si Lord na bahala dun sa other person. You know, kung ayusin ni Lord yan. And um, above all, sabi ng Panginoon, we love. Yan. So, yeah, thank you so much. Amy, for your time, and uh, God bless you, and the, the the work that the Lord has um has uh, told you had, had, has um instructed for you to do. God bless I'll you. Thank this, you so no, much. No, I'll, I'll, before you go, Amy, no, I'll just tell this to the audience, no. Uh, when somebody may kasalanan sa you, you forgive, no. But 
if they don't forgive you, you just think it's because you're unforgivably handsome or beautiful. That's the <laughs> only reason. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and definitely, um, yeah, Amy is a, such a beautiful lady. Thank you so much for being here, and God bless you. Thank you, Kuya Carlo. Thank you, everyone. Bye -bye. You us, uh, have a blessed morning. Thank you. Happy weekend. So, yeah, um, thank you, Amy. And uh, we'd like to thank the following um, donors. Carlo, wait, I'm just looking for my notes here. Um, of course, we'd like to thank MFH Church, Pastor Butch Alvarez. Um, thank you so much from Detroit, Michigan. Um, loving God, Helping Others, a house of prayer for all people. Uh, we'd like to thank the Good Feast PH. And Yasin's Beauty Line, My Daily Collagen, Sister Evelyn Javier of the ABS-CBN Fellowship, um, Sis May Rose Coronel of CCF, J Maxi Builders Corporation, Lingap. And uh, we'd also like to thank, of course, an anonymous donor. Hanggang ngayon, hindi natin alam kung sino yun, no? Pero may nag, ano, nagbigay sa... Breakfast with the King, Carlo. Um, and God bless all of you. Maraming salamat. And um, we, we know that you are blessed with this episode. Do share this. If you think someone needs to hear the word from this episode, please share it. We are um, on, on podca Apple Podcasts. We are on um, Spotify, on YouTube, and on Facebook as well. God bless you. And interesting, Carlo, yung... Um, episode natin next week because we will have with us Pastor Eric Totanes from CCF who will be our um, guest host. Um, kasi very deep yung topic natin. It's about a sister in Christ um, who lost her husband um, during the pandemic. And um, pakinggan natin yung testimony na. That's such a difficult um, challenge, no? a, a difficult life challenge. And it's it will be very um I'm, I'm sure it will be a blessed episode. So please be here with us next Looking Saturday. Looking forward again. to that. On See you again, guys. 9 o'clock on Saturdays. Thank you. God bless bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.